It's Thursday, my dudes, and you know what that means. I don't know what that means, honestly. Except the fact that I'm just gonna talk in front of the camera about NXT. I think this is my first time talking about NXT, on this channel at least, or... I think I have talked about NXT, but it was in a short and it was weird. But I think about including NXT, just like uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about Raw and Smackdown, I'm gonna talk about NXT. And uh, before I get into it, um, I just want to make a disclaimer specifically for NXT. At the beginning, when I started watching NXT, it was exactly the black and gold era, like Tommaso Ciampa just got out because he had to do a neck injury and uh, I just started watching when Johnny Gargano and Adam Cole was having that feud, uh, that trilogy and it was amazing, I don't know what caught me so well there but right now I feel like it's so hard to get to be super invested in, into NXT because things are changing every two years and you can you don't have the time to connect to some superstars for example, it took me two years to connect to Braun Breaker or Carmelo, Carmelo Hayes. And for the other superstars on the NXT brand, I'm not really connected, but I'm trying. So this is my video about NXT, uh, specifically for this episode, but because it's the first video about NXT, it's gonna be a little bit broad one. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what happened in the episode but I'm gonna talk about in general people that I'm interested in feuds that I'm interested in and let's just jump into it so the first thing I want to talk about is the first thing I talked about on the raw video Dom and Rhea elevating NXT uh, by Dom winning the North American Championship and Rhea having a match that was not for the championship again but it was a match nonetheless she was dominant it was a good match and Dominic was a scumbag as always and he's gonna have a match, a triple threat match at the Great American Bash uh, with Mustafa Ali and Wesley I don't know if this is a good call probably it is because uh, the title reign of Dom should not be that long since he's in the main roster so I guess Wesley will take the title back but still it was a good run it was nice i think great american bash is actually this weekend so we're going to talk about this as well the next thing i want to talk about is john gacy and schism i was invested in john gacy when he joined nxt i was i was really invested in him uh, i was i'm really invested into people like bray wyatt joe gacy I, I don't want to put The Undertaker in the same category basically guys that are invested more into the character work than the actual wrestling and stuff like that you know what I'm talking about since I love stories and stuff like this right now I'm not gonna lie to you I'm really lost on what is happening with Schism I kinda lost interest and uh, yeah the last thing I caught was they basically kicked out the Creed brothers and since then I don't know what is going on um, I'm just gonna wait and see what they have in store Von Wagner versus Braun Breaker is a feud that we are gonna see at the Great American Bash I suppose but we saw the greatest spear of all time I hate to admit it but Braun Breaker has such a vicious spear uh, I hate it because Edge has the best spear. Wait a second. <sighs> the kids were screaming outside and I couldn't hear myself. So basically, I love the Edge spear. And since Edge came back, I think he has the best spear because because his neck issues, he was doing his spear strange before he retired. But when, since he came back, uh, Edge is doing the full-on spear and it's amazing. But Braun Breaker... <laughs> do the, the latest episode he speared himself out of his shoes you know he, he just flew away somewhere when he speared von wagner and i'm excited to see what these two have in store i really believe in von wagner he's not he's 
his promo game is not that strong, I admit, but I see the potential. The potential potential, you know? Bron, why didn't you grow the beard earlier, huh? I really don't want to be a hater kind of person, but Tiffany Stratton, who is she and why I should be interested in her? In my notes I labeled that differently, but she is the champion and I can't feel her like a champion. She came on the roster like less than a few months ago, like why? why she's the champ like why uh yeah i don't know i'm definitely watching tia hell versus her and i'm rooting for tia hell but tiffany stratton is giving me mandy rose vibes and i don't like it it's it's that girly champ it's that girly champ that i don't like and tiffany stratton is trying to be something like Charlotte Flair, but Charlotte Flair is different breed, man. Like, she is classy, she has the looks, she has the style, but at the same time she's ruthless in the ring, man. She she has a nice skill set and you can see the fight in her when she's doing it and I don't know. Uh, I hope she becomes better with the time. I will see what... Uh, I'll keep a close eye on it, right? Gable Stevenson versus Baron Corbin at the Great American Bash is something I'm really excited for. I was surprised that it took so long for Gable Stevenson to land in NXT, to be fair. Uh, because they announced him joining WWE like two years ago, probably. And he made an appearance here and there. Uh, and... I was wondering why is he appearing instantly on the main roster, isn't, isn't he gonna be a good fit at an NXT and he was training some guy in NXT a couple weeks ago and it instantly clicked man, he needs that little bit of a promo development, a little bit of a character development before he goes to the main roster and now that he is on NXT, I'm a little bit sad that he's not gonna go for uh, two times gold medalist or three time another title that it is but against Baron Corbin it's gonna be a bang for sure Baron Corbin, I'm really excited to see Baron Corbin uh, with all his promos about burning bridges and burning all his previous work and stuff like this and I'm really excited to see this everyone hates Baron Corbin, not me uh, I really enjoy Baron Corbin and I'm really looking forward for what he wants to say. He really puts a lot of effort into people disliking him so I really appreciate that and I acknowledge that. Last but not least, in my list for today, probably in the future I'm gonna cover more things and more things in detail and you know what I mean, Ilya Dragunov versus Carmelo Hayes. I'm not a fan of Ilya Dragunov but for some reason the facial hair is selling it for me, you know? I'm really excited to see that match. I haven't watched Carmelo since he won the NXT Championship, uh, but I think this is a match that I'll definitely watch, and for some reason I think Ilya will win that one, and Carmelo Hayes will go to the main roster with Bobby Lashley, uh, with Trick, of course, and Street Profits, they're gonna have some sort of stables, there are rumors about that online, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say that much uh, for that. I'm really excited to see Great American Bash this Sunday or Saturday. I'm not sure. I'm not advertising right now. Uh, but uh, you can expect a commentary from me about that. I'm not gonna watch it live, probably because it's gonna be in American times. Uh, but I'm gonna watch it nonetheless and I will have my comments on it. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to see you uh, at the end of the week for Smackdown. Bye.